Yesterday I made a video going over Twitch's new policy update that they rolled out and it's been just a little over 24 hours and they immediately threw their hands up, waved the white flag and surrendered saying, goodness gracious, heavens to Betsy, this was too far, too much, we could have never seen this coming, we're rolling back this change, we're reverting it. So for those that don't know, yesterday Twitch made a guidelines update to what type of content they allow on their platform when it comes to sexually suggestive material. The biggest change that raised the most eyebrows is they made a sweeping alteration to their artistic nudity policy where they basically gave everyone the green light to get fucking insano style with it. They opened Pandora's box allowing pretty much all types of nudity as long as there was artistic context to it, drawing, animation, sculpting, all of that. This was like the big bang that created a universe of porn on Twitch. If you went to the art category in particular on the platform over the last 24 hours, you were inundated with tons of hentai and furry porn out the wazoo. And it's not like it was some restricted category off in like a quarantine zone that you needed a secret password to enter like a speakeasy or something. It was legitimately one of the top categories over the last 24 hours. So if you just clicked on it, you immediately saw all of this. Like the only time that there was a warning is if you actually tried to watch one of the streams, it would let you know that, hey, there might be sexual content here. But otherwise it was just easily accessible to anybody. And I really think Twitch was under the impression that this policy would be used by artists making really classy things. I think they were expecting Michelangelo level sculptures where it's like this <laughs> marble statue of a man with a small wiener. But how it was actually utilized by the community is just tons of huge cocked furries and like giant titted anime babes squirting milk out of their nipples. And I saw a lot of people getting mad at the artists for making this kind of content on Twitch, but I don't blame them at all. Twitch allowed this, they enabled it, they gave them the green light, gave them the freedom to do that, so they were just playing by the rules. They didn't do anything wrong, they didn't break any of those rules at all. Except for a couple of people that popped forward to exploit it even further. There were some channels that were made in order to AI generate photorealistic porn in the art category. So then you started having AI generated porn images that were indistinguishable from just real screenshots from porn. Scrolling through the art category, which again was one of the top categories, felt like what Y2K was trying to warn us of back in the year 2000. It, it was disastrous. Which again, at the end of the day, was entirely Twitch's fault. I think Co Carnage summed it up best, nice and succinct. He said, These recent changes on Twitch are so embarrassing. Sweeping policy changes without basic restrictions. Erroneously ban streamers for doing exactly what they're told they can do. Immediately roll back the changes the next day. Amateur hour, please do better Twitch. Amen. I mean, that's the whole situation broken down into a nutshell. Twitch started banning some of the streamers that were literally doing what they were allowed to do. They played by Twitch's new rules and still got banned for it because Twitch must have got all, you know, blushed and shocked like, oh my goodness, what have we done? And then they just started lashing out and banning streamers that were literally just doing what Twitch said they could. Just a massive L from Twitch across the board here. When reading through their explanation for why they decided to make this big change, they said, For years, through user voice and conversations, we heard from artists that our content policies were limiting. In making this update, we were trying to be responsive to those requests and allow the thriving artist community on Twitch to utilize the human form in art. So reading through this explanation, I just really get the impression that they expected this to kind of be like my figure drawing course in my freshman year of college, where... You do draw a nude model, so the art does have nudity in it, but that's still very different than just drawing straight up porn. That's two very separate disciplines. Those categories couldn't be more different. And Twitch was expecting the former, but they got the latter, and a lot of it. Bazooka ball sack furries as far as the eye could see in the art category for the last 24 hours, and Twitch eventually said, okay, enough is enough, we've got to put the kibosh on this. So today they announced that they are taking that change back. They're saying, whoops-a-daisy, they're using their one mulligan in the golf game here in order to say, nope. Let's go ahead and read through the rest of the statement here. First, we want to make clear that some streamers in response to this update created content that was in violation of our new policy. We've worked quickly to remove that content and issue channel enforcements. That's referring mainly to the AI-generated photorealistic porn that was being put onto the platform. I don't know why they didn't see that coming. 
that was always going to be a, the outcome of a policy like this with just a massive sweeping change that allows for artistic nudity, which is a very vague thing to try and define. Like, that was always going to happen, and I don't know how Twitch didn't foresee that. It just seems like they don't exactly know their community that well. Or it's not even their community, just the internet in general. That was always going to be exploited. However, there also was a great deal of new content that was allowed under the updated policy. Much of the content created has been met with community concern. These are concerns we share. Upon reflection, we have decided that we went too far with this change. Digital depictions of nudity present a unique challenge, AI. A uh, unique challenge. AI can be used to create realistic images, and it can be hard to distinguish between digital art and photography. Basically, they're just echoing the sentiment from a lot of people that, hey... This is a little weird to have on Twitch where one of your top categories actually just has tons and tons of porn being drawn, like, all the time now. That's very odd considering it lives in the same ecosystem of just, like, normal gaming or, like, normal just chatting streams or whatever. I also don't understand why everything has to be a hot-button debate here where people are like, Oh, Twitch has never been a safe Christian space for the youth and everything. There's always been some sexually suggestive things on there. Yeah, no shit. No one's saying that Twitch is like this perfect utopia where degeneracy doesn't exist. But I feel like everyone can recognize the difference between a streamer doing squats for subs or being in a bikini or something versus having an entire category, one of the top categories, taken over by drawn porn and hentai and AI-generated porn. Like, it's so drastically different. You can just say that that's weird that Twitch would allow that. You don't have to try and make this some kind of bigger, deeper, more nuanced issue like, oh... A bunch of prudes. What, what, you guys don't like boobies anymore? What's all this booby outrage? I can't believe we're even making a big deal out of this. Like, no, everyone likes tits. That's not what anyone's saying. It's just maybe not on Twitch in this capacity where you're just drawing porn. Like, that, that is a weird thing to have on Twitch. Like, if you want to make an 18 plus category for Twitch, that's fine, I guess. But it needs to be a, like, restricted spun-off category in its own designated area that doesn't live in the same ecosystem. Because it shouldn't overlap with the rest of the content on the platform. Because it is so fucking different to just allow <laughs> drawn porn and hentai and shit. Like, I, I don't know why this is even, like, a complicated issue. It's just as simple as, eh, it's a little weird to have the entire category be porn. You know, it's, it's just, to me, that simple. So... It seems like it was that simple to Twitch as well, where they must have not really thought through the policy all that deeply, rolled this out, and then were shocked to see just how much of this was existing on the platform, so that's why they're overruling themselves. So, effective today, we're rolling back the artistic nudity changes. Moving forward, depictions of real or fictional nudity won't be allowed on Twitch, regardless of the medium. This restriction does not apply to mature-rated games. You can find emote-specific standards for nudity and sexual content in the emote guidelines. We aren't making other changes to the updated sexual content policy. So basically just saying, nudity, no. <laughs> They're putting the, the kibosh on it. They're hitting it with the, the X. No more nudity, no matter what medium it's in. Unless, of course, it's in like a mature video game or something that's not already banned on Twitch. Now, one thing I have to mention that I just find fascinating is how quickly Twitch rolled back this change. Their response time to this is historic for the platform. Twitch is notorious for taking an absurdly long time to respond to anything. Even like legitimate crime that happens on Twitch. They will just like take so long, an outrageously long time to do anything in response to it. Yet when it came down to this, they changed things lickety split in, in 24 hours basically. That is a new world record for Twitch. So, if I may get a bit conspiratorial, I'd like to hit you with my game theory on why exactly that is. Why did they respond so quick to this, but never anything else in the past that have been huge issues? Here's what I think. I think what happened is Twitch rolled out this artistic nudity policy change, and all of this porn hits the platform. As a response to that, a lot of advertisers take notice that work with Twitch and start asking questions of why. It is well known in the industry that Anything that is even remotely construed as adult content is almost impossible to monetize for sponsors. Sponsors don't want to touch anything that's even close to like 18 plus material. And Twitch, although it does have like some suggestive, sexually suggestive content on it, it is not an 18 plus website or anything like that. No one would ever consider Twitch an adult site by any means, so advertisers feel comfortable placing their, their products on there. But this is, by all definitions, an adult category now, basically, where all of this porn is being drawn. So perhaps advertisers got a little frightened and started, like, pressuring Twitch a bit. Like, hey, we do not feel comfortable advertising on a platform that's going to allow porn to be drawn like this and have all this kind of content. 
So maybe that scared Twitch, like maybe this was going to hit their financials somehow. So then they immediately overnight rolled back this change. Like that's the only thing that makes sense to me because historically Twitch hasn't responded to anything in any meaningfully, meaningfully fast period of time. They are always so slow dragging their feet to anything on their platform except this now. So that's why I think they did. Of course, I have no evidence of this. I'm just speculating, but... I just know historically when it comes to like adult content, advertisers get extremely scared and want to pull out. And this allowed adult content onto Twitch for however brief a time. So that's what I think led to them being so quick to revert the changes. I could be wrong, who knows. But I just wanted to at least throw that out there while we're talking about it. That's really about it. See ya.